Hi friends and welcome to day two of multiplying by a one digit number. So yesterday we worked on multiplying by a three digit number by a one digit number. Today we are working on multiplying a four digit number, meaning we're working with the thousands place here. So today we're going to be doing pages 241, 242, and 244. And then you'll be doing an independent practice on Google Classroom once you finish. So let's jump in and get started. So it says Ezekiel has three building sets and each set includes 1,125 pieces. How many pieces are in all three sets? So we can see right off the bat, our problem is going to be 1,125 times three. Now, this looks a little more scary from yesterday, just because we have a number in the thousands place, but the strategies we talked about yesterday still work. So I'm gonna start off by drawing a picture because with the thousands, I feel like that just is better to start off with. So this is our base 10. And then down here will be just our regular standard equation. Okay, so base 10, obviously we're gonna have to have our thousands block. So those are the bigger ones that you see in the classroom, the 3D ones. So we're gonna have one of those for three times. So I'm just gonna draw those first because we all know Miss Dion is a terrible drawer. So we're just gonna make do with what we have. These are so bad. So. These are our thousands cubes, so I'm just gonna put a TH just so I know. And if you want friends, you can just do the regular square and then put that inside and that's totally fine too. And then in this, so we have 1,100, so then we're gonna have one flat one. And I'm just gonna label it an H so we can see the difference with our drawings so you don't get confused. And then we have two tens and five ones. So then you can go and count what we have. So we have three thousands plus one, two, three hundreds. Oh no, I'm gonna run out of room. Plus 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 tens plus five, 10, 15 ones. So then you can just add those together. So we have 3,375 3, 3, because we have this 10 that would bump up to the 7. And again, we can stack it if it helps you. So you can also set it up like this. This might be a little easier just because of the different place values we're seeing here. So then we have 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 5, so it's 5. 6 plus 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 7. 3 plus 0 is 3. 3 plus nothing is 3. So our answer is 3,375. Now that's using the picture. But down here, we're going to talk about solving it using the expanded form idea that we talked about yesterday. So we're going to stack it like we saw at the end of yesterday's video. So 1,125 times 3. So, 5 times 3 is 15. 3 times 20, so this isn't a 2, it's in the tens place, so it's like saying 2 tens. So, 2 tens is equal to 20, because 10, 20. So, 3 times 20, 3 times 2 is 6, add a 0. 3 times 100, because remember, 100 is 100 rods, so one of these blocks. So, 3 times 100 is 300 and then three times a thousand again three times one is three and then because it's in the thousands place you need to make sure you add those zeros and again you also could have done it like this 1000 plus 100 plus 20 plus five right putting out an expanded form and then just doing three times 1000 plus three times 100 plus 3 times 20 
plus 3 times 5. And I'll show you how we kind of get the same answer here. So 5 plus nothing is 5. 1 plus 6 plus nothing is 7. 3 plus nothing is 3. 3 plus nothing is 3. So we get the 3,375 that we got up here. Now, if you wanted to do it this way, 3 times 1,000, 3 times 1, and then add the three zeros, plus 3 times 1, plus add the two zeros, plus 3 times 2, plus the one zero, and then we know 3 times 5 is 15. And you can see, friends, how they match up. So stacking it works the same way as putting it into expanded form. But if remember, if you put it into expanded form, you need to take each number in the expanded form and multiply it by the number that the problem is asking you to. So friends, if you have any questions, um, now is the time to ask. Um, if not and you feel comfortable, we're going to move on to page 242, which as always just kind of puts it into perspective for us. And um, it also talks about how we could do the bar model. Um, with the expanded form, to me, I think it's just easier to pull it out this way and not bother with the bar model for this one. It's because it's an extra step that I really don't think you need. But if you do feel like it makes more sense to you, you're more than welcome to use this. And then the model, it just kind of goes through what we went over on the front. <clears throat> so if you don't have any questions, you're feeling okay, we're going to move on to page 244. So we're going to do these three problems, and then you are going to move on to your independent practice on Google Classroom. So on page 244, we have number 8, which is 5,342 times 4. Now for this one, I think it's best to do the expanded form just because with the um, thousands place, it gets a little tricky with the drawing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this 5,342 by place value. So I'm going to say 5,000 plus 300, plus 40, plus 2. Now we did this in the beginning of the year. Remember, we pull the 5, then we pull the 3, then we pull the 4, and then we pull the 2, and then we just keep them in their place values because the 2s and the 1s, 10s, 100s, 1000s. So you got to make sure you have those same number of zeros. And then it's times 4. So that means every single one of these is going to be multiplied by four. So we're gonna have four times 5,000, four times 300, four times 40, and then four times two. Then we just go and plug them in and then add them together. So four times five we know is 20, and then we're gonna add those three zeros. This one doesn't count in it, we're gonna still add those three zeros plus four times three is 12, and then add the two zeros, plus, oops, I didn't need to do that, sorry friends, so four times four is 16, add the zero, plus four times two, which we know is eight. So then you would just add them together, so it's 20,000 plus 1,200 plus 160 plus eight. I'm just going to line them up on the side of my paper to show my work for this because all those zeros, I don't want to miss any. So I'm going to have 1,200, 160, and 8. So I have 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 8, so 8. 6 plus nothing is 6. 2 plus 1 is 3. 1 plus nothing is 1. 2 plus nothing is 2. So we can say 5,342 times 4 is equal to 21,368. So again, friends, we just broke it apart by place value using the expanded form. This all right here is the expanded form. We went over it in the beginning of the year. You did it in third grade last year. You probably did it in second grade. This is just expanded form. And then we just have to remember to keep the number from the problem and multiply this number by each part of the expanded form, so each place value. So we're going to use the same strategy to solve number 9, just to get some practice with the expanded form. So, 
we have 3,928 times 7. So again, I'm going to break apart my 3,928 into place values. So I have 3,000 plus 900 plus 20 plus 8. Because I have an 8 in the 1s, a 2 in the 10s, a 9 in the 100s, and a 3 in the 1,000s. So now that I have my number I'm multiplying by broken apart by place value, I'm going to go and make my parentheses. So then I can multiply each of these numbers by 7. So I'm going to do 7 times 3,000, 7 times 900, 7 times 20, 7 times 8. And then I'm just going to plug them in. So 7 times 3 is 21. Add the three zeros, so one, two, three, plus seven times nine, which we know is 63. And then add the two zeros, plus seven times two, which is 14, and add the zero, plus seven times eight, which we know is 56. Now again, um, we can stack it up to help us add so we don't lose any of the zeros. So we have... 21,000, then we have 6,300, 140, and then 56. So we have 6, 9, 4, 7, 2. So our answer is 27,496. So that means that 3,928 times 7 is equal to 27,496, okay? And then moving on, instead of going this way, we're going to stack this one. So we're going to say 2,041 times 6, and we're going to go up and down. So you can say 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times 40 is 240, 6 times no hundreds, we, don't, we can do the hundreds just for place value purposes, but you don't need to, and then we have 6 times 2,000, which we know is 12, and then we need to add the three zeros to keep it in the thousands place here, and then we're just going to add them up this way, so we have 6 plus nothing, 4 plus nothing, 2 plus nothing, 2 plus nothing, and then 1 plus nothing. So our answer is 12,246. So if you look here, friends, these same numbers show up. So from here to here, if we set this one up this way, it would have matched up. It's just a matter of if you like it better this way or stacked like this. So then we can say 2,041 times 6 is equal to 12,246. Now, as you can see, friends, this strategy is the same as this one, just it's showing um, horizontally or vertically. So it is up to you what you prefer. These are both the same strategy, just stacked a different way. So it's up to you. If you have any questions, I'm in the Google Meet. If not, you are good to move on to your independent practice. You can find that on Google Classroom. It's called Lesson 11, Day 2, Independent Practice. So let me know if you need anything. I'm in the meet. Happy math.